Where are we going? My tummy is gone. Yeah, you're going to get big and strong. What do we put in your button? Medicine. Yeah, we're getting you medicine. Luke was diagnosed with Gaucher's eight months ago when he was 18 months old. It is a rare genetic condition, meaning that you inherit it. It's part of your DNA. And his body doesn't make one little enzyme that helps his cells get garbage out. And so it builds up in these cells and causes a lot of health problems. When Luke was born, he was a really good mellow baby. But like, he also would get sick a lot. I mean, he constantly had a runny nose or a cough or a fever. And then we also noticed that his belly was starting to get like, you know, round and we're like, oh, is he getting chubby? But he had these super skinny arms and legs and this like little pooch of a belly. <laughs> you're kind of in shell shock when like you're told that your, your child has like a pretty serious medical condition. So it was actually hard to like think of the big picture. Drew and I together literally had to trust the medical team in what they said, like it, he will get his treatment, it will be okay. Because we had no choice but to do that. When he gets his infusion treatment each week, I am in awe of how strong he is. You're so brave. Mommy's so brave. Oh, thanks, baby. You're brave too. He had a, um, a port placed in his chest. It's just like a really cool button that allows them to um, just put a single needle right here. They numb it up and he is infused with this enzyme. Oh no, you, you, won't, you won't feel a thing, okay? Yes. Let's count. One, One, two, two, three, four, five. There we go. Six days out of the week, Lukey's like a normal toddler. And every Wednesday, it's just, it's button day. It's superhero medicine day, and we do it. This drug that Luke needs, it's called an orphan drug and it means that so few people in the world need this that only a few companies make the drug and so it's super expensive. Our team, our team of healthcare professionals who are coordinating Luke's care said, you know, we think it's best that he gets this drug but it might be a little tricky and we don't know if your insurance is going to cover it. And so we're like, how could something that's going to keep my baby alive not be covered by insurance? And so they assured us not to worry that it might take some time, but we'll find a way to make it happen. Like that. One, two, three, three, four. It's out. But it took several attempts and lots of paperwork and back and forth to get the medication approved. I got my medicine, Daddy. I got my medicine. I feel like we, as a little family here, are so blessed to be in this day and age because many, many people have come and gone before our Luke with these super rare diseases and struggled. And the fact that there are these drug companies who take the time to focus on such small populations to develop these medications that help and give my child the ability to live a happy, successful, pretty normal life I feel so grateful for the orphan drugs. I feel so grateful. And so I'm torn on the, on the issue of price. In one sense, I totally get from a scientific point of view what it takes to create, manufacture, and deliver these medications. But on the same token, now that it's you know a process that's been pretty well developed, at least for Sarazine, why can't they make it a little less expensive? Like what's holding them back? So that's where my question is. This is our binder of all things medical billing. The bills that we saw in the beginning, I mean, there's a surgery bill for almost $30,000. Like, it's almost like you can't wrap your head around it because we're not gonna not treat Luke, but we're also never gonna be able to pay these bills. <laughs> it was almost laughable. For the next 18 years, my husband and I will be helping Luke 
get his medication and therapies. But after that, Luke will continue on and hopefully take care of himself for many decades to come. What we need to do now is prepare ourselves financially, but also we need to educate ourselves on insurance plans. So now I find myself like reading about healthcare and insurance and wondering how that might, you know, affect my family. Bless us, all, Lord, in these thy gifts which we are about. People are like, how do you do this? And I'm like, you know what? We're all warriors. If we face this with dignity and courage, that decision is what's going to propel us forward. So there's no fear here.